Howdy, my name is Brian Foley. I'm a criminal defense attorney in Conroe, Texas, and I represent folks who've been accused of a crime in the Woodlands, uh, anywhere in Montgomery County, Houston, and the surrounding area. So we're here to continue our uh, Rule of Evidence series. Today's rule is Rule 406. It's evidence of habit or routine practice. And uh, we don't mean habit like a nun, we mean it like, uh, again, routine practice or something you do all the time. It doesn't mean you get to introduce like preferences or things that you can prove happen one or two times. You really have to prove that it is a habit. So let's take an example. Um, if the issue in a case was running a stop sign, let's say a tra Class C traffic ticket, you're in, let's say you did it in the Woodlands, Texas, you'd be over in JP3. And uh, if you wanted to call, uh, let's say your brother to the stand who said I was living with him the week that he got this ticket and the, the previous two days when we left he stopped at the stop sign I feel like you would have stopped at the stop sign in this instance that is probably not admissible as evidence of habit or routine under rule 406 uh, since it's a class C case you know the rules of evidence are a little lax in those uh, types of cases they don't get applied very stringently because there's normally not lawyers on both sides but uh in any case, it's probably not enough for Rule 406. It's gotta be a really uh, well-established routine practice or habit. Like every day he gets up and brushes his teeth. We know this, okay? So trying to say, somebody who's lived with this guy for a year, every morning the guy wakes up, the alarm clock goes off at the same time, wakes up, uh, brushes his teeth, okay? So that would be good evidence of habit or routine if for some reason, you know, the victim was like, well, his breath was really bad. It's like he hadn't brushed his teeth. Well, if you got evidence of routine or habit or practice that your guy brushes his teeth every day, well, then maybe that's something you could, could offer. Um, here's an example from a case of where it actually came up. Uh, there was a, a criminal defendant who was uh, accused of a crime against his wife, uh, domestic violence related. And the court said, in order for the excluded testimony of Richard and Christine to be admissible as evidence of habit, Richard would be required to demonstrate uh, a regular practice of meeting a particular kind of situation with this particular kind of conduct. And in this case, it was um, when he was confronted with his wife's getting in an argument or being aggressive, what he would do uh, is go to another room and call her parents and call his parents. And that's how he typically, his habit and routine was of uh, dealing with these type of aggressive situations. And so the court uh, in this case, it's called Dietz versus State, D-I-E-T-Z, 123 Southwest 3rd, 528, for all my lawyers out there. Uh, we conclude that Richard met this burden. The evidence established that during their 12-year relationship, Christine would aggressively react during their arguments while Richard regularly retreated and called his mother and Christine's parents. And then they determined that that was reversible error uh, when the court denied the defendant from offering that as evidence, that it was an abuse uh, of discretion. Um, uh, a court in Reyes versus State, the, the Court of Criminal Appeals actually, held that four prior convictions for public intoxication spanning a three and a half year period were not sufficient uh, in their regularity. You know, they didn't happen often enough to rise to the level of habit evidence. That's Bishop versus State. So if the state, if you're a prosecutor out there trying to use evidence of routine or habit, you know, I would stick to these daily routine things, you know. It, prior evidence of public intoxication over a period of time, maybe in the punishment stage, you could use that to say, this guy's always drunk, you know, he's a menace to our society. That, that could be your angle. But, you know, if you're trying to do that in guilt, innocence as evidence of habit for something, you're, going, you're barking up the wrong tree. You, you're begging for some kind of error to be put in the record. So uh, that's it. That's the evidence rule 406, evidence of routine habit or practice. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications whenever we drop a new evidence video or any other kind of video. And uh, if you have any questions you want me to answer, um, you know, I can't say that it's uh, binding legal advice or that you shouldn't talk to an attorney. If you have a real uh, question about a legal case, you really need to talk to an attorney in person or over the phone not just watching them on YouTube. But uh, if you do have a question that I find it's interesting, I'll go ahead and answer it on here in a video. 
and tell you what the law basically says about that general area without getting into too specific details. So uh, drop one in the comments if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching.